Algebra 2, this is Chapter 4, Section 1, Organizing Data in Matrices. Um, this video is the second one in the, the set that I'm doing here. The first one, I just wanted to talk about how you basically can put elements into a matrix or to just create a matrix. Now let's talk about what all these little different pieces of the element of the matrix are called. So you have elements. So 2 would be an element. It's a value in your matrix. Negative 1 would be an element. 0 would be an element. 3 would be an element. Negative 3 would be an element. 1 would be an element. So each individual uh, value in the matrix is an element. You give dimensions row by column, and you actually have this. Um, so you'd say row, and then you put the x for by, and then you put your column. So we have two rows in this case. One, two. So we've got two rows. And we have one, two, three, four columns. So this is a two by four. And no, you may not reduce it. It has to stay two by four because it physically is two rows by four columns. Uh, some other vocabulary. Um, this is a one row by one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it's a one by five. Um, it is considered a row matrix because it consists of just one row. Let me go back to that cover everything over there. Oh, square matrix. I'll get to that in just a second. Uh, this one is a one, two, three, four, five. This is a five by one. And this is called a column matrix. C O L U M N. Column matrix. Oops, my pen got off there a little bit. Um, and then this one, this is called a zero matrix, and a zero matrix can be of any size whatsoever. You could have a one by one or a seven by seven. This specifically one, this is one, two rows by one, two, three, four, five. This is a two by five, uh, and it's a zero matrix, zero matrix. So if you need to pause at this point and get your vocabulary all done, Okay, so again, we've got our elements, which is each value in the matrix, our dimensions, which are always given rows, then columns. And then a square matrix, square matrix just means you've got the same number of rows as columns. So if I look down here, this one here would be a square matrix. It's a three by three. Okay, so three by three would be a square matrix. Let's go back up here. So square matrix can be one by one. They could be two by two. They could be, oops, two by two. It could be 3 by 3, 4 by 4, 5 by 5. You get the picture. Okay. So elements, dimensions, square matrix. And then you've got your row matrix, which is just one row. A column matrix, which is just one column. And no, it does not have to be 1 by 5. It could be a 1 by 2. could be a 1 by 17. As long as it's 1 by, it is a row matrix. Again, this does not have to be 5 by 1. This could be a 7 by 1 or 12 by 1. As long as the columns are a 1, it is a 1 column matrix, and then 0 matrix. Last thing to cover in this one is equivalent matrices. So when are they actually equal? Well, these have the same numbers in them, but this is a 3 by 2, and this is a 2 by 3. So they are definitely not equal. This one, element by element, 5 is 5. 6 is 6, 0 is 0, 1 or 0 is 0, 7 is 7, 2 is 2, 3 is in the same place as 3, 1 is in the same place as 1, and 4 is in the same place as 4. These are both 3 by 3s, and every single element is in the same exact spot. So they are considered equal or equivalent matrices. This one, this is a 2 by 2, and this is a 2 by 2. But, and the 1 is in the same spot as the 1, but the 2 is not in the same spot as the 8. So this is also not an equal um, matrix. So hopefully that gets you your vocabulary through this section.